Hello, Borough fans. It's Joe from Borough Fan TV, and this, uh, I know this is supposed to be go this was supposed to be going out on the actual fixture release day, which was um, a couple of days ago now. But I was incredibly busy for the last couple of days, so I didn't get a chance to make a video on the fixtures for the upcoming season for the Borough. And uh, I'm just now re really just now found the time to do it now. So uh, obviously these fixtures were subject to change due to cup runs and other bits, etc., uh, like TV coverage, etc. Um, we already got one game pending already, and that is the Carabao Cup first round tie against Barnsley at the Riverside. And um, now this game is due to take place the week commencing the 8th of August, but as of recording, we do not have an exact date of that yet, so that's to be confirmed around that time. But as I say, we've got the fixtures for the league we're going to be concentrating on, and obviously, we've got that winter break around mid to late November to December time, obviously, with the World Cup in Qatar. So we're going to be starting off the season a little earlier than usual. Um, as a matter of fact, in about, say, four weeks' time, nearly a four weeks' time, pretty much, on the uh, 30th of July, uh, we've got West Brom at the Riverside to start off with. Then we go to August. Um, Saturday, the 6th of August, we've got Queen's Park Rangers at Loftus Road. Saturday, the 13th of August, we play Sheffield United at the Riverside. Tuesday, the 16th of August, we play Stoke City at the Bet365 Stadium. Saturday the 20th of August, we play Reading at the Select Car Leasing Stadium. Saturday the 27th of August, we've got Swansea City at the Riverside. And then on Tuesday the 30th of August, we play Watford at Vicarage Road. Now we go into September. Uh, Saturday the 3rd of September, which is a big one for us. I'm not sure if our friends over by the side will say the same. But we do play Sunderland at the Riverside in the big uh, Teeswee Derby. And on Saturday, the 10th of September, we've got Blackpool at Bloomfield Road. Uh, Tuesday, the 13th of September, we've got Cardiff City at the Riverside. And then to finish off September, on Saturday, the 17th of September, we play Rotherham United at the Riverside. Now we go to October. Uh, Saturday, the 1st of October, we play Coventry City at the Coventry Building Society Arena. Wednesday, the 5th of October, we play Birmingham City at the Riverside. Saturday the 8th of October, we play Millwall at the Den. Saturday the 15th of October, we've got Blackburn Rovers at the Riverside. Wednesday the 19th of October, we play Wigan Athletic at the DW Stadium. Saturday the 22nd of October, we play Huddersfield Town at the Riverside. And then on Saturday the 29th of October, we play Preston North End at Deepdale. Now we're going to November, we've got three games in November, starting on Tuesday the 1st of November, we've got Hull City at the MKM Stadium. Saturday the 5th of November, we've got Bristol City at the Riverside. And then on Saturday the 12th of November, we've got Norwich City at Carroll Road. Now we go to December, Saturday the 10th of December, we've got Luton Town at the Riverside. Uh, Saturday the 17th of December, we've got Burnley at uh, Turf Moor. Uh, Boxing Day, Monday the 26th of December, we play Wigan Athletic at the Riverside. And then on Thursday the 29th of December, we play Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park. Now we go to January, our first fixture of 2023. We play on uh, New Year's Day, the 1st of January. We've got Birmingham City at St Andrews. Saturday the 14th of January, we play Millwall at the Riverside. Saturday the 21st of January, we play Sunderland at the Stadium of Rice. Saturday the 29th of January, we play Watford at the Riverside. Then we go into February, we've got Saturday the 4th of February, we play Blackpool at the Riverside. Saturday the 11th of February, we play Cardiff City at the Cardiff City Stadium. Wednesday the 15th of February, we play Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. Saturday the 18th of February, we play Queen's Park Rangers at the Riverside. And Saturday the 25th of February, we play West Bromwich Albion at the Hawthorns. Now we go to March. Uh, Saturday the 4th of March, we play Reading at the Riverside. Uh, Saturday the 11th of March, we play Swansea City at the Swansea.com Stadium. Uh, Tuesday the 14th of March, we play Stoke City at the Riverside. And then on and then on Saturday the 18th of March, we play Preston North End at the Riverside. Might have said Tuesday the 14th of uh, March, which is so shame, but it is Tuesday. Just in case you don't say, I thought I said Saturday, it is Tuesday. Now we go to April. Saturday the 1st of April, we play Huddersfield Sound at the John Smith Stadium. 
Friday the 7th of April we play Burnley at the Riverside. Monday the 10th of April we play Bristol City at Ashton Gate. Um, Saturday the 15th of April we play Norwich City at the Riverside. Wednesday the 19th of April we play Hull City at the Riverside. Saturday the 22nd of April we play Luton Town at Kenilworth Road. And then Saturday the 29th of April we play Rotherham United at the ASC of New York Stadium. And then we finish off the season on Saturday the 6th of May where we host Coventry City at the Riverside. So that's us, our fixtures for the 2022-23 season in the Starbet Championship. And and it's been some exciting times as of recording this, you know, at the Borough at the moment. We made three new signings so far, hopefully more to come. Obviously, Liam Roberts has come in on a free transfer from Northampton Town. Uh, as put more of a backup goalkeeper. Uh, Ryan Giles joining on a season-long loan from Wolves. Obviously, you can imagine both him and Jones on to find those wing-back positions. They're going to be a real constant threat for championship defenders this season. And we'll have strikers, of course, once we get to the main, actually. Um... And also, we picked up Darwin Lenahan on a free transfer from uh, Blackburn Rovers. Obviously, we need a leader in that back, back line. And, and obviously, uh, Darwin Lenahan from his time at Blackburn is a natural born leader on the, on the pitch. And he can definitely help our defenders out a lot, like James Fry and Dag Steele and uh, other players, etc. Obviously, we're missing Saul Bamba, obviously, because he got released. So, there's that big voice we need to fill in in terms of the leader, experienced leader in that line. Hopefully, Darwin Lenahan can do the job for us. Hopefully more to come. Obviously, we've seen the uh, new home kit been released as well, which obviously has been a, a mixed bag of reviews amongst the Borough supporters recently, but I personally like it and I will be getting it. Um, the away kit's not been released yet, but it's due to be unveiled hopefully within the ne- in the uh, coming weeks, um, hopefully before we start the new season. Obviously, um, a couple of pre-season fixtures coming up. Obviously, it was just announced we got a home friendly at the Riverside against French, sa- French side Marseille to look forward to on the 22nd of July, so any boy fans want to get down for that, um, head on down there, I think it's like £10 for an adult ticket, and it's a family day as well, obviously more information can be found at the club itself, um, yeah, exciting times ahead, we just need to get more players in, so, and um, hopefully get us uh, ready for the new season coming up in a few weeks' time. Anyway, boy fans, um, that'll, that'll do it for this fixture, uh, release video, so I hope, don't forget to like, share, subscribe as always. Obviously, the uh, pr- the match preview for the uh, West Brom game for the f- first game of the season will be on the channel um, a couple of days before that game, so keep an eye out for that. So until then, I've been Joe from Borough Fan TV, and I'll see you at the start of the new season. Up the Borough.